Okay, so joint and uh, several tax liabilities. So if you file a joint return, uh, you both, uh, both you and your spouse are generally responsible for the tax and interest or penalties due on the return. So it's kind of like a partnership, if you think of a partnership type of situation, meaning if you have a business and you take on a partner, the risk of taking on a partner is that the partner can make decisions that basically hold you accountable. You're liable for their decisions. If you're getting married from a contract's perspective, you know, just in terms of the law, that has a similar situation, right? You've kind of formed a partnership here. You're one entity. And so you're both liable, you know, for the taxes. That's the general rule. So, so this means that if one spouse doesn't pay the tax due, the other may have to. Or if one spouse doesn't report the correct tax, both spouses may be responsible for any additional taxes assessed by the IRS. You may want to file separately if. So they're saying, hey, look, you know, if, some, if one person is being crooked on the taxes or something like that, then it's going to impact the other person because you're one entity and you're both liable for the taxes, kind of like as a partnership. So then you might file separately if you believe your spouse isn't reporting all of their income. So now you're saying, okay, look, I think my spouse is not doing this correctly. I don't trust them on that or whatever. So now you're going to try to separate as best you can <laughs> with the filing. And so that's one reason that you might choose to report filing separately. So you can try to be as honest on your taxes as you can, even though you, you possibly don't fully trust your uh, spouse on there. So, or you don't want to be responsible for any taxes due if your spouse doesn't have enough tax withheld or doesn't pay enough estimated tax. So see the instruction for married filing separately for more detail. Also see innocent spouse relief under general information. So another argument would be that if one spouse was doing things that the other spouse did not know about, then uh, is there any way that you can relieve liability from the spouse that assumably is not at fault in that situation is kind of like the victim in essence. And that's when you can get into this innocent spouse uh, relief situation, which kind of goes beyond the normal tax preparation. Hopefully we're not in that case, but you know, that comes up fairly often actually.